everyone, it's Jade from Polar Size Dubai. I'm in the warehouse gym in a different room today because today's tutorial is based on upper body strengthening and conditioning. So I'm going to show you a few different exercises that you can do at home or at your local gym or even your local park. The exercises I'm going to show you today are a good workout on their own and they will help you strengthen uh, your upper body to help you achieve those difficult aerial moves. Before any workout, it is very important for you to warm your body up. Uh, you want to warm up your muscles and immobilize your joints. I'm going to show you some different immobilizing moves uh, that, I use, that I use myself to immobilize my shoulders. I use resistant bands which you can pick up from your local sports shop or online. The resistant bands are different in strength as well and thicknesses. So this one here that I'm going to be using today is quite a medium uh, strength or medium resistance. You can get ones that are smaller with a less resistance and ones that are thicker with a more resistance. It just depends on your strength and what you're using the resistant band for, okay? As to which resistance or which thickness band you're gonna use. So, you're going to place your hand inside the loop here and then hold on to the band like this. From here, you're gonna step back and hold, uh, so pull back on the band so there is that resistance. You're gonna rotate your arm from your shoulder outwards and then using your shoulder here you're pulling and your lat you're pulling back or down and then you're going to release rotate your arm inwards and pull back rotate out and pull and pull making sure that you're not bending your elbow so we're not pulling with our bicep we're pulling with our shoulder and our lat so pulling out and down, rotating in, pulling back. Okay, we're gonna do about five of these on each arm. Okay, then changing to the other side. So hand in the loop, holding onto your resistant band, adding that, pulling back, so you've got that resistance, rotating your arm out, pulling back, rotating in and down. Okay, now you're going to stand side on, okay, still having that resistance, straight arm and you're doing the same thing, you're rotating backwards and then using your lat and your shoulder to pull down, rotating in and then rotating out, pull down, rotating forward, back, pull down. Okay, again, you want to repeat on both sides. So holding onto the resistant band, pulling back, rotating backwards, pull down, rotating forward. Rotating backwards, pull down, forward, and repeating five times on each arm. For the third mobility move, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the band above your head and you want to stand so that your arm is directly above your body, okay? And you're just going to uh, push forward with your hand using your shoulder. So you're not pushing like this with a bent elbow, you're pushing with a straight arm and you're pushing with your uh, shoulder, pushing forward and release, forward and release, forward, release. Again, you're gonna repeat five times, changing to the other arm, and pushing forward and release. Forward, release, forward, release. Okay. And relax. Now our shoulders are nice and warm, we can get on to our workout. 
still using your resistant band, we're going to learn how to do pull-ups or do the conditioning to then be able to do a pull-up, okay? So, I've got my resistant band here and I'm using a box so that I can stand and I'm able to then hook my foot or my knee inside the band. Standing up. One foot on the inside of the band and you're having your hands forward grip like this onto the bar above, okay? Now, you're going to pull yourself to pull your, uh, basically your chest or your collarbones to the bar and you're gonna hold for a split second and then lower yourself down as slow as you possibly can. So, pulling up, legs straight and slowly lower down to straight arms. Okay, stepping back onto the box and repeat. Pulling up, hold and then lowering yourself down to straight arms, okay? If you find that that is easy, we're now going to step it up and you're going to then do the pull up as well after the lower down. Foot on the inside, hands forward and pulling up, hold and lower down slowly. Now from here your arms are straight, you're then going to pull up using your lats, so you're pulling down and then pulling up with your biceps. Hold, slowly lower yourself down and pull up, hold, lower yourself down, okay? Releasing your foot. Each of these you want to do about 10 reps or close to 10 depending on your strength and repeating each for three sets. When you find that your pull-ups are getting easier, then you're going to lessen the resistance so you're going to get a thinner resistant band and eventually you'll be able to use no bands and you'll be doing pull-ups all on your own. The next exercise I'm going to show you is a skin the cat. It's an awful name, but it's a world known name, okay? Your skin the cat can be done on various different equipment. Uh, if you're training aerial hoop, for example, you can use the hoop to do your skin the cat, or you can, if your gym has a frame like this, uh, otherwise, if your gym also offers rings, you can use rings or a plain straight bar. Anything that you can hold on to and pull yourself into your Skin the Cat. First I'm going to show you how the Skin the Cat looks and then I'm going to break it down step by step so that you're able to achieve this in your gym. Your Skin the Cat works a lot of different muscles, okay? It also helps with your shoulder rotation as well, and it works your core muscles, all right? So your abs and your back muscles get a full workout from this move. Before you start your Skin the Cat, safety tip, always stay fairly close to the ground so that if you go through into your Skin the Cat and you can't pull yourself back, you are able to let go of your hands and drop safely without falling too high, okay? So you only want to be even here. So if you're on the rings, uh, ideally you want them here so that you're still standing on the floor before you pop up into your pike, okay? Safety first. For some of you, holding your pike is going to be challenging, okay? Until you can hold that stably and you're secure and you feel completely safe in your own self, then you're going to go into your Skin the Cat. 
Okay. So, into your pike, feet through, legs straight. From here, you're pushing your hips through your arms and feet are going down towards the floor. This may be as far as you get before you pull back. Okay, which is fine. And then eventually you'll be able to go a little bit further and pull back, okay? In your Skin the Cat, you only want to push through a little bit at a time because the going through is easy. It's the pull back that's very hard on your abdominal muscles, okay? Um, so you want to push through a little bit and pull back. If that was easy, then push a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further until you're hanging almost straight up and down and then pulling back through. When you're first starting out with your Skin the Cats, aim for a maximum of two reps or three before you're coming down and resting, okay? And then you can increase how many reps you do the stronger you get in your Skin the Cat. After you've finished with your Skin the Cats, we're now going to move down and utilize this box. We're going to be doing tricep dips, push-ups and incline push-ups as well, okay? So it's just slightly different variation to your push-ups uh, from what you've seen in the previous tutorials. First of all, you're going to sit on the edge of the box and you're going to place your hands either side of your hips, okay? Bringing your feet forward so that your legs are straight and then you're going to push your bottom off the box. Now, you don't want to be driving with your legs, okay? It's not a hip thrust, we're doing tricep dips. So, elbows, sque you're squeezing your elbows together as you're bending down, okay? Keeping your back close to the box and then driving back up. Coming down, driving back up. Slow when you go down, go down for three counts, hold four and drive up for five. Okay, down, drive up. If you find that this position is getting easy, okay, you're going to bring your feet out, place them on your heels, so you're taking, you're removing the support of your legs, all right, driving down and then back up, okay. Same thing, down for three, hold for four, and driving back up for five. One, two, three, hold four, driving up. Okay. You want to repeat your tricep dips for 10 reps, and you're going to do three sets, or four, depending on your strength. For the next exercise, I'm going to show you is your push-ups. However, these push-ups, we're going to keep our elbows close to our side, so we're still working our triceps. Hands on the edge of the box, feet are back, so you're holding your push-up position, and your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, okay? They're not wide. Hands close, and you're bringing your chest down to the box, elbows squeezing to your sides, and driving back up, all right? Squeezing down, driving up. It is very important to hold your abs really tight and squeeze your glutes, okay? So you're here in this position, you don't want to arch your back here. You want to hold this in and squeezing your glutes nice and tight, driving down with your arms and back up, okay? Again, repeating for 10 reps or aiming for 10 reps for three sets. Your last exercise is your decline push-ups. Uh, with this push-up, we're gonna use a wider grip. So your hands are gonna go wider than your shoulders and we do it at an incline so that you're able to push past your uh, shoulder point, okay? Whereas in a normal push-up, you would only push to in front of your shoulders, where this one we're gonna try and push that little bit further, okay? So, hands on the floor, wider than shoulder width, feet onto your box, 
holding your core nice and tight, squeezing your glutes, abs switched on. And you're pushing down to the floor and driving up. Elbows are going out to the side, nose to the floor, driving up. Okay, down for one, two, three, hold four, driving up. When you're first starting out with these push-ups, you may only be able to get this far before you're having to drive up or to where you can't hold it anymore, which is fine. You're gonna go to your point and then push up, okay? And then eventually you will get as low to the floor. Again, repeat for 10 reps for three sets. Most importantly, stay safe with all your exercises. Make sure that your core is all switched on, your shoulders are warm, and you're doing the exercise properly. Thank you for watching my tutorial today on upper body conditioning and strength building exercises. I hope that these exercises are beneficial for you, even if you don't practice aerial fitness. Subscribe to our channel, give our tutorial a thumbs up, hit the notification button and I will see you next time. Bye!